Um, Bill, do you recall the match uh, with Joe, Joe Kaikumi and was it Huber from Northwestern? John Huber John and uh, Joe Kaikumi. They had met uh, four times during that season, and every one of them was an epic battle. We went down to the end. They were all very controversial, and probably the most controversial one was at the state finals uh, when Joe lost 9-8. to eight. It was a match where he really pushed the action the, the whole match, and uh, a couple of uh, injuries in that match where uh, you know, we got, could have got some back points and a couple stalling calls, and it was uh, a real tough loss at that time. But I think uh, for me as a coach, that, that loss, I think, motivated me for a long time to uh, get back to the state finals with other wrestlers yeah. and uh, kind of cash in because it was so close to a state championship that uh, you know, we could taste it. That's great. Um, Mr. Mitch Lance over here, very nice to have you back in the high school. And, Thank you. Um, can you uh, account some of the moments of your championship as a, se as a senior or your junior? Uh, my junior, I junior. Won. My senior, I actually took fifth, uh, which probably led to Joe's. Uh, I always felt uh, leaving that tournament, uh, I could have uh, come through on that, that semifinals match. We might have had a different result on both ends on Joe's match. But, uh, I guess my junior year really could be summed up in one match, uh, and it wasn't the finals match in the state tournament, but rather the, the semis finals match. Um, I was wrestling the guy who was predicted number one in the state, uh, beating me by four points with 30 seconds left. Um, I'd injured my, my knee. Um, for the most part, uh, it was match over. Uh, and in a normal environment, it'd be match over, and uh, looked into my corner, and uh, my coach looked at me and said, you know, try a move I'd never tried in, in, in season. And I said, might as well try it. And I uh, hit a Granby and stuck it for Peterson. And uh, long and short of it is I scored five points and won the match in that last 30 seconds. Um, wow, that's you know, incredible. Yeah, you know, that, that was an interesting uh, chain of events because the, the boy he wrestled in the, uh, in the semifinals was a uh, national caliber wrestler. Was very heavily predicted state champion. I think when we went to the state tournament, there was three people who believed that Mitch could win it, and that was his father, uh, myself, and Mitch. It'd be, it started out as where his father was the only one to believe that Mitch could win the state tournament during the year, because he convinced us all during the year, Mitch can win a state championship, Mitch can win a state championship, and he got me believing that, which I think made Mitch oh, believe that, awesome. and kind of made it happen. Yeah, I can actually, you know, talk about takeaways, you know, 23 years later I can learn from what happened, uh, you know, Bill gave me something that day that I've, that I've taken on in my life, and that was, um, you know, I don't think anyone in that gymnasium at that point with 27 seconds left thought I was going to come through, um, including my family who believes in me and loves me and, and were the biggest supporters of me. Uh, but when I looked in that corner, there was one guy right there with me, and I, I think I, talk, I take that on to my, to my, my business career, and I realized that you, know, you can't give up on people. Uh, you can't give up on yourself, you can't give up on people. Um, even when it's 27 seconds left, you're down by four. Uh, that's the time to focus, you know, gather your thoughts, uh, come up with a plan and, 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 and execute. And, uh, it's great that you gave me that, I appreciate it. It, it meant a lot. You know. When I was traveling down here, I thought a lot about uh, you know, what I would say, and I think you know, my takeaways from, the, from this school have been, um, you know, now that I'm, I'm older, I'm almost 40 years old, I have, a, I have three children, um, I'm realizing how much um, dedication and, and sacrifice uh, people around me gave to help me be what, help me turn into a young man at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my father, who uh, no longer is with us, um, believed something that, uh, that his child could do anything he wanted to do, and uh, he gave me every opportunity to do that. Um, and, even when people around him said, ah, your, your kid won't do it, he, he believed that, you know, if my kid, if my child believes he can do it, I can do it. And that's not just the only, it wasn't, it just didn't stop my father. I mean, I, I look at, you know, Tracy, uh, Tracy McGrain, you know, Bill's wife, uh, her father uh, was a big booster, Harv Jacobs was a big booster. Um, you know, at one point, my, I think it was my junior year, he cleared out his barn and gave us, rolled down a mat, and I said, you guys can wrestle there all summer. You know, that, that kind of is a, an oddity in today's world <clears throat> with the, the liability where it is. Many people would look at it and say, well, there's too much of a liability there. What happens if a child gets hurt? What happens if a child gets injured? 
um, that wasn't even a consideration. It was, you guys want to do it? Let's let's do it and make you better. Um, and I can I can name family after family in the wrestling community that um, did it. You know, my senior year, uh, my father had a heart attack on the way to the uh, district tournament. I think it was. Um, and my father was laying in the hospital, and I remember really the a rally around me. Um, wasn't it wasn't a great feeling at that moment, but. Years later, I looked back on it. You know, people rallied around me. The, the Casserman family washed my uniforms. Other families took me home. Uh, it was a great family atmosphere that this, that this school provided me, uh, and really a community atmosphere that, that grew me into the man I am today. That's, that's a great testimony. Um, Bill, you also were a track coach for Waynedale? I was track coach for the three years that I was here. And uh, there's some great experiences there as well. Those, those three years, it's hard to believe that it was only three years because I've been in education 20, 25 now. And it's hard to believe that I just spent three years here. Those three years really set the foundation you know, for my career for, for years to come. When I look back at those, the wrestling teams that we had back then, I mean, with Mitch, uh, uh, Kaikumi, Todd Weaver, uh, uh, Hostetler, um, just to name a few, Swinehart, Louis Stanley, so many of these guys are still involved in wrestling with, with their either coaching or with their, uh, with their uh, children now. And it's great to see. I come back to the Waynedale Junior High Tournament, and it, it's, it's a great place. I mean, you feel like you've never left. It's, it's yeah. a, lot of, a lot of home for me still down here after all those years and, uh, and only being here three years. It makes it a, a very unique place, very you unique. Um, do you know, remember Thad Uncle for um, Shane's sure. younger brother? He he said I was talking about this interview that we're going to do, and he said he said if it wasn't for Bill, I think the wrestling program wouldn't be where it is today. He well, said I, I was, think it was it was a jump start at that time, yeah. and that was with yeah. the great. I mean, Louis Stanley, I think, was a uh, a freshman when I got here, and uh, th those kids have uh, you know just done very well. It was it was a great three years with parental support, and uh, when I look at. Uh, we well, look at one guy back from those days, um, Todd Weaver on those teams. Todd kind of epitomizes the whole community, I think, in his family, the way uh, the Bedbug and Winnie were just such hardworking, blue-collar mm -hmm. people, and Todd was very successful, and probably not really, and I'm not trying to say he was not a great athlete, but he did it with his heart okay. and soul and hard work, and it just kind of epitomizes what, what this Wayne County and uh, Wayne Dale High School is all about, I believe. That's good. Did you coach um, Bradley Griffith? Yes. Oh, so he still holds the 400 meter records. I, I was digging. Does he still have that? Yeah. He still has that. Yeah. Dwayne O'Neill was that? In, was Dwayne, he in the same class? Yeah, he had. Uh, we had Brad. The one year was really good. We had five guys who really did. We had a lot of guys who just kind of came and went, but didn't right. do a whole lot. But we had Kaikumi, O'Neill, um, uh, Griffith, and uh, somebody else uh, who was. Spidell, yeah. Scott Spidell? Yeah. He was the 800 meter guy because we went to the conference. Oh, really? We went to the Wayne County League. I, I might be thinking wrong here. See, I was basically, I was an 800 meter guy and Dwayne O'Neill was the guy I was trying to catch. Right. So I can't remember who was. There was, there was four of them, all four of them won a mile relay. Right. Joe, uh, O'Neill, uh, Walt, Mark Walter was our pole Walter. Right. Brad, there's one more. Was it Spidell? He was in the 88, 88 or 87. 85. Scott? Scott was. 85, 86? I was a freshman when I played football with him, and he, I thought he was in the 87 class. Oh. 87 class. I just thought he was a year or two. Mike okay. okay. was first. <laughs> but, uh, that was a heck of a team. Did we, we went to the Wayne County League final or Wayne County League finals. We were the last place. So we had a pole vaulter, I think, <laughs> Mark. I don't even know who he placed. Yeah. And then we, the next night we run, we won the 100, the 200, and uh, 400 with Griffith. Joe won the low hurdles. Um, O'Neill won the 